I'd like to share with you. I just want to really say thank you to each one of you for the personal word. Uh, either a memory, a thanks, or a scripture, or some combination. Sergey, one of my favorite memories with you is the first time that your mom came mm -hmm. and joined us for a zonal evening, and uh, she shared her testimony, and you translated her. And uh, she gave deep thanks to the Lord for all his mercy. And then a more recent memory, uh, and Ashley was there for this, you gave me some survival tips in case I get stranded. <laughs> okay. So I thank you for those things and for excellent soups. Great soups. And a verse for you from Proverbs 23. When your mother grows old, don't neglect her. Parents rejoice when their children turn out well. So make your mother proud. Mercedes, every time, a memory for me, every time... <laughs> Every time Mercedes, the chef manager, walked into the lecture room on fasting day, mm -hmm. uh, I just felt that was something very significant spiritually. It was a, it was a prophetic <clears throat> moment, and I appreciated that in you, Mercedes. And the many times we shared prayer for our loved ones. Thank you for your spiritual hunger and sensitivity. And. Uh, Letty, you win the award for the most changed person in five yeah. years. <laughs> there was a child here when we arrived five years ago, and now there's an adult. <laughs> you are a beautiful, talented, intelligent person, Letty. Uh, trust in the Lord, and he will guide and bless you. And Mercedes, um, from Acts 16, believe in the Lord Jesus, and you'll be saved, you and your house. Pete, a sweet memory I have of you is uh, seeing this deep sweetness when your daughter walked in there. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, seeing that deep, deep affection and tenderness that she brought on you, loving it. And I want to thank you for your willingness to always go the extra mile. Mm -hmm. Mariana, I remember you for the diet that always begins tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> And for your vigorous supervision, when we had the temporary cleaners in for the wash, you were supervising them. <laughs> I'm so glad. Thank you for the excellent standard uh, that you keep here in this place. And a verse for you. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Whoever has clean hands and a true heart. Michael, uh, from the very first day that I met you, I have been so inspired by you as a man of God. Uh, you're absolutely reliable in your presence in, in your gardening work, and equally reliable in your excellence of Christian virtue. Mm -hmm. And thank you for a lifetime of godliness. Uh, Alex, I remember during a worldwide prayer meeting on a Thursday morning during a Spanish translation session a year ago, Damian, Damian Ojeda, mm -hmm praying in Spanish without translation at a worldwide prayer meeting. He prayed for the book of Revelation, that we would, uh, that we had repent, we were repenting of falling away, losing our first love. And uh, that was followed immediately by Ian McBride, in England, a British delegate who doesn't know Spanish, praying the exact same thing in English immediately following. And we knew that it was the Holy Spirit guiding the prayers that morning. Okay. Just really recently, there's many memories meeting with you and my spirit. But recently, when I saw you at IHQ, at the Swanson's farewell, <clears throat> you came up to me and talking about the work of the spirit. You said it's like leaven, mm. like yeast, from Luke 13. A yeast that a woman used in making bread, even though it's only a little bit, it permeates every part. Mm. And the whole thing will rise. Mm. That was a word you gave to me that day. I give that to you. Jeff and Heather, uh, you came to our rescue initially for one session and stayed on for two. We were so grateful. Mm -hmm. Jeff, with your boundless energy, <laughs> just amazing. Uh, both of you, such a blessing to us and so needed by us. Heather, I have a memory of you in the front door kissing every member of the session goodbye <laughs> on our way out the front door for a session trip making sure that everyone had enough warm clothes on. <laughs> and our mothers. Uh, and to all, uh, Alex, Inge, Jeff, Heather, and Michael, uh, I would say uh, 
thank you for showing us your faithfulness in the long obedience in the same direction. Mm. We rise up and call you blessed. Yeah. Ash and Taya. I agree with Ash's description of Taya as a Georgian princess. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful. Taya, you have beautiful powers of expression. Really gifted with that. I will always associate 1 Corinthians 13 with you. On her birthday, after you had left here, Taya came back and worked as a volunteer, doing mm -hmm. Emma, another mm -hmm. volunteer's uh, work for that day as a mm -hmm. birthday gift to her. It's wonderful. Uh, to both Ash and Taya, it's a privilege to share in your journey, to watch your romance blossom, to see God's gifts develop in you as you follow his lead together, and with you, I trust him for your future. Yeah. I trust him. And a verse for you both from 1 Corinthians 13, love never fails. Yeah. Xander and Vanessa. Xander, our son. Mm. Xander who wore the mandatory jammies, pajamas, on Christmas Eve with our family. 2008, the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> <laughs> Being there really helped. Xander, our son, subjected to more mom family stories than any other, <laughs> and yet he still loves us. <laughs> Xander came to the UK from sunny Australia, following the Lord's mm. lead. No other reason. We have such respect for you, dear Xander. Mm. And look at what the Lord has done. Mm -hmm. Vanessa, I loved before I met her, seeing her worship the Lord at Southern Court. Uh, and now I know her and really her blessing. Stephanie, my memory will be, one of them will be of your voice lifted in prayer at the Worldwide mm -hmm. Prayer Meeting. Your leadership, spiritual and otherwise, especially at the International College for Soldiers, and your insistence that we all ride the elephant in Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me, my Ezer, and for doing what you could. Uh, like Elijah to Elisha, may a double portion of the Spirit mm -hmm. be upon you. Mm -hmm. Sylvia, our beloved friend, sister, daughter, you, like many of us, to greater or lesser degree, found a home here at the Cedar in this loving global community, in the midst of transition and uncertainty. How many of us have that understanding? I'm so glad to finally meet, know, and love you, one who has taken a familiar path with beloved friends in the War College Vancouver and with Steve McCourt and Danielle Strickland. A couple of verses for you. May the Lord give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation that you would know him better. Like on Colossians, may you live a life worthy of the Lord, pleasing him in every way. Louise, my lasting memory with you is an early one at the Stockholm World Youth Convention. Just before we got up to speak, you and the others from the Time to Be Holy 458 group gathering around us and shouting Tung Sam Kido prayer <laughs> at the top of your lungs. I will never forget it, and I loved it. Uh, and Ashley, we're only overlapping here for a little while. We'll be apart only for a little while, and then only the Lord knows how long we'll have together in Sydney. But to both of you, I want to say thank you for coming to work in the Center for Spiritual Life Development. You're both extremely gifted, capable young women. I feel proud of you. And I want to say to whom much is given, much is required. Uh, Joanna, my musical friend from Chile, whom I met in 2008, who would have imagined we'd be here in London five mm -hmm. years later? <laughs> Stay close to Jesus. You are a treasure. Jane, I met in, the, in Kiev last year. And uh, both Jane and Nani, I knew your moms as delegates and loved them. And Saram, we welcome you. Glad you're here, too. Uh, to all the volunteers, all the DSWs, I want to say two things. Romans 12, do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't conform. That you may be able to test and approve what God's will is. And, take this as you will, run fast as you can after Jesus. Pursue him with all your might. If perchance you find a man who's running as fast as you, and he can keep up with you as you pursue Jesus, then with our approval, 
you may consider. <laughs> that has to be the order of it. <laughs> Julie, uh, your creativity, the delegates won't, most of the delegates don't know this, but your, it was your idea and mm. your creative initiative with the half night of prayer. Mm. What a huge blessing that has been mm. to every session yeah. since then. Mm. Can't imagine the delegates right. the session without it. Mm. Uh, and I'll always remember coming in, I think it was our first half creative idea. When you had the lecture room with the big cross on the floor and the candles and all of us there were very strong. Thank you for your skillful listening too. And, uh, you're gifted both by training naturally and then divinely as a counselor. Like the Holy Spirit, John 16, Jesus said, uh, if I go away, I'll, I'll send you another one. He's a counselor. And uh, he's with you, Julie. And we see that, that quality of God in Peter, also from a half night, I just remember the persecuted church mm. prayer meeting we had. I think it was the Russian translation mm. session. So not, uh, Jane's mom would have been here. So we all, in silence, had to come down the back stairs to have a prayer meeting as though we were in a persecuted environment mm. of where the church is persecuted. Mm. So the entire session, all the officer staff were down there in the back hallway, and we held a prayer meeting under those conditions. Mm. But I appreciated your leadership in that. And uh, thank you for your helpfulness. You have a lovely gift mix, uh, two of which are administration and helps. And anybody who comes into your sphere of influence says, yay, God. <laughs> what a great combination. Brent, what a time. You've gone from little B, Brentissimo, silent concrete, <laughs> to now... My name is Brent Forrest. I'm your photographer. This is my <laughs> I love your sensitive and willing spirit. Stay close to Jesus. He will make a way for you. And a verse from Psalm 119. How can a young man keep his way pure by keeping it according to you? Daniel, I believe the Lord has given you a ministry of reconciliation. I can see that just hearing a bit about your life's history and how he's, where he's placed you. So some verses for you. I thank God for you. 2 Corinthians 5. If anyone's in Christ, there's a new creation. God reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. God has given you the ministry of reconciliation. Tracy, my memory with you, of course, is when Melinda got her visa. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great moment, and we had a dance of joy in the upstairs kitchen, celebrating the Lord's um, delivery there. And you're my sister in intercession and in preaching. Uh, and the verse for you, James 5.16, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Uh, Janet Thompson, where to begin? Uh, our chaps across in the, in the top, top floor here, we talk to ourselves. I'll kind of mutter to myself on occasion, come on, Janet! And then I'll shout across the hallway, not you! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't use that tone of voice with you. <laughs> or we'll, we'll decompress in various ways. And I'm very, very thankful. It really has been an upper room up there. And um, verse from Romans 15. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So thank you to you all. Our lives are eternally changed and enriched because of our time with you here. Thank you for your loving patience with us on our journey. And... Uh, yeah, the, probably the strongest theme that I take away with me, too, is one that Richard has mentioned from Isaiah 56, 7. My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. And part of what that means to me is that the place where God makes himself at home, my house, mm -hmm. the place where God sets up his dwelling, is among the people of prayer. My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing it happen bit by bit, and we're part of that, the reality of it. We are part of that too. So may you be uh, personally and corporately this house of prayer 
where he makes himself at home. Thank you very much. Thank you.